So the title says insects, but in actuality, we're going to be talking about arthropods, which they um, are invertebrate animals and they have an exoskeleton, uh, segmented bodies, jointed appendages, um, and they are from the phylum arthropoda. Uh, and they include insects, arachnids, myriapods, and crustaceans. So what is an insect, like the title says, it's a class of invertebrates within the arthropod phylum. Um, they have chitinous exoskeletons, three-part bodies, which is the head, thorax, and abdomen. And they also have three pairs of jointed legs, compound eyes, and one pair of antennae. So for this webinar, we're going to have both insects and then insects that are in the arthropod uh, family. Uh, we have other creepy crawlies and all sorts of things to talk about today. Now they can be used for behavioral lessons. Some make just great classroom pets, but uh, I will be talking about all that. Okay, next up we have our giant hissing, hissing cockroaches, which actually are insects. So get these guys out and onto the tray. So here we are. So they are native to Madagascar. Um, they have about a five-year lifespan. They are wingless as opposed to the cockroaches that you would usually think of. Um, they do hiss, that's why they're called hissers. They have these holes on the side, they're called spiracles, and that's how they hiss and that's how they breathe as well. Sadly, these guys are so used to me handling them, they don't really hiss much anymore, or else I would love to show you. <laughs> but um, usually if you get a group of them, that one of them will tend to, tend to hiss at you. They don't bite, um, but they do have, um, if we could go to the other camera, please. Um, they do have um, spiny legs, so uh, there we go. Um, is it fuzzy or can you see that? Mm, we, I can see that now. There. So their legs are spiny. Um, it might be a little scratchy, but they won't break the skin. So there's no worry about um, getting scratched um, to a point that we'll need a Band-Aid or anything. They're actually great for smaller students to hold because they are so big. Um, and they don't really move much. On occasion, they will want to kind of run, but um, it's always good to hold them over a table and you'll be able to catch them right away. Now on that note, if they do happen to get out, they are not pests, so they will not infest um, anywhere in you know the school or the home that they, they are kept in. Um, so, we have yes? somebody asking to see this to see the little holes you were talking about. Um, sadly, they are so small that we can't really see them. Whoops, let me see if I can hold the side. So they would be right along here, along the side here. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but it, so on that note, I'm getting a little bit closer up. There, can we see that? Beautiful. Okay, so this is a, a male. I'm trying to line them up, sorry. I'm <laughs> trying to line them up so you can see them. There we go. So this guy, he has horns on his head, so that indicates that it is a male. And the females are actually have a smooth head. You can see that she has kind of a smooth head, and this guy has horns on his head. So it's cool to, for the students to compare and find which one's a male and which one's a female. Um, now the females, uh, an interesting fact about these guys, is that they carry their egg case internally, but then when they are ready for the, the babies to hatch, they expel the egg case, it hardens, and then they suck it back into their bodies and the, the babies hatch, and then they give live birth. So it's really inter an interesting process, and if you get um, a couple of male and females, you will definitely see some babies because they definitely will uh, reproduce. But um, they, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so, but you can ask to get just males, that way you won't have that problem. Um, so if we could go to the next slide. Oh, is, yep, this is the slide. Okay, um, so we do have them singly. Um, we recommend a terrarium with leaf litter and soil. And if we could go back to the big camera for a second, I'll hold it up so they can see. Oh, this guy is not letting go. <laughs> I'll just hold on to him. <laughs> so we have the terrarium right here with a shallow water dish in it. Um, we feed them dog food, wa well-washed lettuce, um, oranges, apples. Um, we do have cockroach food if you choose to um, feed them that way. Um, make sure that you keep the terrarium in a humid and 
humid and moist by it just misting it on occasion. Um, like I said, if they escape, it won't be that big of a deal. Um, they are slow enough, well, you'll probably find them right after they escape anyway. Um, and the care sheet is on there as well. So if you go online, you can actually find that care sheet and um, find out all about these guys.